Canelo Alvarez, Eddie Reynoso's Jim's Oscar Valdez opens the B sample in that too. Tested positive for Fenermin. Oh man, we gotta talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys throw a like on the video. It goes a long way when you guys do that. Breaking news, ESPN. We gotta talk about it. Mike Coppinger reports. Oscar Valdez's B sample has tested positive for the banned substance Fetamine. The sample was collected August 13th along with his A sample. Valdez scheduled his title defense against Robson uh, Concion on September 10th is now in serious jeopardy. Auga! Auga! Ruling expected soon. Oh, this can't be good. In case you needed more confirmation, here's uh, another reporter, right? He said, new test performed on Oscar Valdez August 30th was negative. The B test tested positive for Fetamine, right? So he opened up, he chose to have the, it says new test performed on Valdez August 30th was negative. The B test tested positive. Hold on, I think that's what I just read. Yeah. So he tested positive on his A and B sample. Oh, this is the updated tweet. Test B was open, the one from August 13th, and it also came out positive. It is now up to the Boxing Commission in turn to deliberate whether or not to let Oscar Valdez fight on September 10th against Robeson Concion. Listen, he's, he's saying the August 30 test was negative. That has nothing to do with it. Listen, there's a lot of people that are misinformed with what's going on here. Right is right, wrong is wrong. He tested positive August 13th. So later on, two weeks later, his test came out negative. That's of no consequence because the PED gurus said this, this particular drug, Fetamine, has a small window that it lives in your, your bloodstream or whatever in your body in your system of 20 to 48 hours max so him testing negative weeks later is no longer in your body oh this is a bad look for eddie reynoso's gym oscar valdez lou de bella boxing promoter longtime promoter he says he's calling for oscar valdez to be stripped of his title and he wants oshaki foster to fight bear for the the newly vacant if they strip him if the B sample comes back, right? It says, quote, every PED expert on the earth will tell you this is a PED or an unfair advantage, shedding weight if you're having issues, DeBella said, and it helps you with your training. Listen, there's a lot of people who are um, trying to make this and their, their inherent biases are showing up. And it's funny because on my channel, I get called all types of names by the usual suspects, the racists, the detractors, the naysayers. But guess what? I'm very consistent. I had the same reaction when Dillian White failed a drug test and Oscar Rivas. I had the same reaction when Tyson Fury failed drug test, when Billy Joe Saunders, Povetkin, you know, Ray Beltran, um, now Oscar Valdez, whoever. It does it. If you notice me and I have the videos, that's the great thing about being on this platform of YouTube. I have a running track list of all of my classics in the videos that i put out right this is really an open and shut case now we find out oscar valdez his a and b sample tested positive he is a vegan so oscar valdez being vegan he can't use the excuse that canelo had say oh it was the meat it was the meat right these are all things that need to be considered the only right thing to do is to strip a person it doesn't matter how it got in your system because anybody can say anything like if we're if we're going to let this type of stuff slide, then we, we might as well just stop with drug testing. Right. So this is a very bad look for Oscar Valdez coming off of a brilliant win and one of the knockouts of uh, of the year, you know, but now all that raises question. Keep in mind, this is Valdez a couple years ago in 2019. It says Oscar Valdez, quote, I was going through hell just trying to make weight. So in his previous division of featherweight, he said he was going through hell trying to make weight. And then fast forward to the future, like Lou DeBella and Ego are saying, 
this is an unfair advantage if you're getting assistance shedding weight with fetamine, which has to be prescribed by a doctor and you're you're trying to suggest that it didn't help you in any way why is it in your system it is your responsibility as a professional athlete these guys all make millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands tens of thousand dollars depending on whatever your tier or bracket is it is your responsibility to be a clean athlete and to go through the the proper channels in making sure that things like this do not happen it's that simple you know you can say whatever you want you can try to have favoritism but the right thing is to keep the rules for the sake of continuity you have to keep the rules consistent for everyone who cares if it's from canelo's gym or this gym or that gym you have to do what's right you have something in your body that shouldn't be in your body it doesn't matter and as people trying to save the integrity or whatever if, if we just open the floodgates and just accept anything then like i said we might as well just stop drug testing altogether because you can just explain and vouch your way out of it this is really an open shut case i'll be anxious to see what the wbc and the commission decide but let me remind y'all y'all must have forgot smash the like button wbc this is their clean boxing program right and just so it's out there i need y'all to see their mission statement right one of the main concerns with the wbc is taking care of the health and life of boxers as well as promoting honest sports practices with the greatest possible prudence, right? Using prohibited substances or procedures to improve performance is considered an unsportsmanlike practice because it generates unfair competition, having advantages over your adversary. So this is their mission statement. People are now saying that Valdez, based on WADA's protocol and what WADA deems as right or wrong or they allow it as long as it's out of competition versus in competition none of that has any bearing on the vada assisted clean boxing program right so people could say whatever they want but this is the the man this is what the wbc has outlined as their rules it says the fighters know this when they sign up so you're signing up for vada rules as you see right here, the WBC and VADA, under its direction of this president, VADA president, Dr. Margaret Goodman, has the clean boxing program to achieve great results. It's VADA. So people, they're trying anything to save Oscar Valdez. You know, you can say whatever you want, but there's no saving him, right? Here's another thing. It says the WBC program is ambitious, right? The main objective, apart from testing, is to educate athletes the dangers and disadvantages that doping may cause, right? In addition, the penalties of testing positive for prohibited substances, you guys see it right there. I'll put it in pink, pretty in pink, y'all. Inside or outside of competition. So I see a lot of people using WADA's protocol and they allow phenamine outside of competition. But it just told you right here, this is the WBC vada program so that means you're signing up for the wbc you have a wbc belt oscar valdez you're signing up for the wbc vada clean boxing program which doesn't differentiate inside or outside of competition they deem that fetamine is banned and they don't care if it's inside or outside of competition it's on the bans list you consent when you're fighting for their belt to these drug tests and now we find out that his B sample, as well as his A sample, has tested positive. There's only one right decision. And I know a lot of the Canelo fans or Eddie Reynoso fans or race fans, they they hate to see it, but you, you this, this draws questions to his previous performances. And it's just, the one, there's only one right thing. So for Oscar Valdez to be allowed to fight, they would have to break their own rules he tested positive with his a and b sample and you're responsible for what's in your your body it's that simple and lastly I, I posted this on my twitter follow me at boxing ego i don't do drugs i don't even smoke marijuana right occasionally socially drink alcohol right 
You could test me for anything year round and I promise all these hard to pronounce weird names won't be present in my system. I, I can guarantee you that. You know, we can do a test. If y'all, if the, if the boxing world wants me tested as an analyst, let's do it. And we can do it at any time. You know what I mean? And it's just weird because the, you see fighters that test positive and then their promoters like Bob Arum in this case, he's saying, oh, it's, it's not even a PED. He doesn't really do that. Then why is it in your system? You know what I mean? It's, it's easy to downplay it and try to minimize it and its effects. Then if you don't need it and it doesn't do anything, there's no advantage, then you don't need to have it in your body. And finally, I said, remember when Deontay Wilder was ostracized for wearing Beats headphones, something you can purchase off Amazon or on Best Buy. You can go to the shelf and get Beats headphones. Oscar Valdez drank, quote, herbal tea. That's what they're saying. Containing fetamine, which is by prescription only. And old media is justifying the fight going on with the banned substance. So, like I said, I cannot wait to see what the ruling is. There's only one right answer. And if they show favoritism, they show bias, they're, they're doing a, dis, a great and grave disservice to the sport of boxing. There's only one right way to, to fix this. You have no justification because you drank herbal tea. You know what I mean? Like, even in Luis Ortiz's situation, he had a doctor's note said he had been prescribed these medicines for hypertension. So that's a bit different. Where's this Fetamine tea? Where do you get that? Why? Well, how does Eddie Reynoso? So he's the only one. His gym mates or state, you know, his fighters are the only ones. And this is bad because Devin Haney just said everybody on Eddie Reynoso's in his gym is on that stuff. He said something like to that effect. I made a video. Make sure you guys check that video. He says Eddie Reynoso's whole camp on that ish. Check out that video. I'll drop a card. So you can figure out what Devin Haney said and get my takes. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Ruling expected soon. In a month.